So a comment from my previous video suggested I should make tips for F2L tricks and also look ahead. So let's do it now. First thing I see a lot of people do is that they plan the cross really, really badly. What I mean by that is people usually take out green and then they put green here, but uh, they also kind of see orange as well. So they put orange and then they put green and then they take out blue and then they put blue here and then they put yeah, uh, red here, which really reduces your times. So do not do that. Instead, do this, put red here like normal, but after that, you see blue, put blue by doing D prime and then R prime and then D and then green here. Reason for doing that is because first, less cube rotations, second, less time because you don't have to take it out and put it back in. All you're doing is just putting doing D move and D prime. Third thing that I want, I want to say is that people don't use advanced F2L. Well. People still use this method where they set it up so it's two pairs and then they just set it up so it's like that and then you just insert like this. Instead, you might want to learn more advanced F12 tricks like this one. This is a really hard one. With some um, with some tutorials like Broly the Cubers uh, F2L tutorial, you may be able to learn tricks like this and then this one which requires you to use another algorithm like this. So these are my tips on how to improve your F2M look ahead. If this helps, please like, share, and subscribe. And if it doesn't, I don't know, still do it. I'll see you next time. So goodbye.